hello everyone uh, in this video we'll know about inland declaration in sap above 7.4 In SAP above Indian declaration it refers to the capability of declaring and initializing variables within a single statement. Instead of declaring a variable on one line and initializing it to other, you can combine both steps into a concise and compact statement. This improves code readability and reduces the number of lines required for variable declaration. So let me explain you a bit like before SCP above 7.4 but how are we going to declare a variable like we use data and we used to declare a variable using the data keyword and thereafter once a variable is declared on the very much top we used to initialize the variable to a particular value so minimalistic you have to write two lines to initialize a value to a variable but with 7.4 and above it in a single line you can achieve both the functionality like you can declare the data additionally you can assign a value to a variable the below is a sample example for the same so as you can see the last line data l underscore string underscore latest this is how at runtime the data gets declared okay the l underscore string underscore latest get declared at runtime and it is been initialized with the text with release 7.4 okay let's take an another example like data lv variable equal to hello world okay that string we are putting it on lv variable okay the lv variable is declared and assigned to a value hello world in a single line point one the data type of the variable is automatically determined based on the assigned value the data type of the value that has been initialized okay it has been automatically determined so it can be an integer as well right so by default you can check that it is of n type if it is a character it could show you a character okay so inline declaration can be used with various data type including elementary data types like string integers dates as well as a complex data type like structures and internal tables okay using inline okay let me first uh, show you the case when it is when we used to declare with above 7.3 and prior to 7.4 okay how we used to declare it is something like we used to declare data l underscore variable and uh, type and the type of data the data type we used to declare and thereafter we used to assign the variable with a value okay text suppose or above before 7.4 okay and we can simply write like this l underscore pair we'll copy this and we'll paste this and this is with above 7.4 how it is and this is before 7.4 uh, 7.5 so how can we do this thus put a data statement over here put this brackets and close the variables within this bracket okay and that's it complete no need to declare the data like this as we used to do before 7.4 okay now let's activate this and see what happens yep see this is the output before 7.5 okay now another thing to notice over here is that let me put a debugger over here okay so if you can see if i'm trying to access this okay let me do an f8 
let me go back let me put a debugger over here and execute it so you'll see this l underscore var is of a string okay if i double click over here var 2 this is of character 17 okay why 17 this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 this is 17 character that's why it is 17 so this is a major difference when you are declaring it in line at runtime whatever value that you are initializing it to that variable now it takes that thing at runtime like if it is an integer type of data your variable the data type is now a character right it will convert into integer type let me show you that as well let me pass 100 over here okay this take this and let me activate this and let me execute this yeah see variable 3 by default it is 0 because it is an integer type this is the main uh, so to conclude the inline declaration in SAP ABAP allows you to declare and initialize the variable in a single statement or expression it simplifies the code by eliminating the need to for separate declaration third and initialization statement so things that we learn is actually inline declaration combine variable declaration and initialization in a single line second inline declaration is supported in sap ABAP version 7.4 third inline declaration enhances code efficiency and streamlines development then the data type of the variable is automatically determined based upon the assigned value it can be used with various data type including elementary data types and complex data type it improves code readability and conciseness by reducing the number of lines required by leveraging in the line declaration you can write more compact and expressive code in sap above leading to improved development productivity and easier code maintenance that's all now uh, let us move to the next topic that is inline declaration uh, over when we are doing a loop over an internal table okay. every time we need to loop over an internal table we need to declare a work area okay many times this work area is also not at of any use once the loop processing is complete hence with inline declaration it makes it very easy to declare it and use when it is required so in this example i'll show you how we used to do before the release of 7.40 and with release of 7.40 what advantage are we getting when we are doing a loop over an internal table okay let's see so let us declare a data first it underscore tab type table of uh, string suppose okay let us declare a work area type string so how what we used to do we used to first populate the data over here suppose text append this work area to the internal table i'm just populating some data into the internal table so it is a bit easier understand okay so suppose i have appended three data so this in the internal table it underscore tab consists of three data okay and the three rows it will consist of okay so earlier before 7.40 we used to do something like this loop at it underscore tab with into work in a wa underscore tab so if wa underscore tab has to be declared over here otherwise you would not be able to use it right and then we used to do an end loop okay and thereby we used to print the records but with the advancement of above uh, 7 point we are like uh, with 7.4 release We can do something like this. If not, 
required to declare the work area. Look at IP underscore tab. Okay. Into data w underscore tab suppose okay tab one i am doing don't get confused and thereby i am doing a end loop over here let us activate it so i have activated it okay so let's execute it see so these are the data like uh, before 7.40 release i have printed text 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 and with 7.40 the same data is getting printed let me comment this uh, okay yeah see Before 7.40 release, we are printing the data and after release. So there is no difference in the data output. The only difference is with the syntax and it is very much efficient since we do not have to declare the variable uh, at the very much top in the data declaration section. We can declare the data at runtime. Okay. And uh, performance wise, it is also better. So it is recommended to use this approach. Okay, so coming to the next topic, which is inline declaration when we would fetch the data from database. Okay, so earlier when we used to fetch the data from the database, we used to create a local structure or a global structure. Okay using the type declaration and uh, we used to put the data into it so we have to declare the data and the types prior to the selection of the data from the database right but with the inline declaration again we don't have to declare any kind of data before any select statement okay let me show you how it used to be before uh, 7.4 like uh, we used to do something like this like types we used to create a local structure you know? begin of structure magna type model magna I'll not make it too much big and take it simple. I just wanted to make you understand the core concept. Okay. So this is my local declaration of the types. Now I will create an internal table like it underscore Mara type table of ST. That is a structure. Okay. Structure does not hold any data. It is just a skeleton with which we are creating an internal table that will hold the data. But at runtime, we are creating a work area as well work area underscore mara type of structure okay now it is done now if you wanted to do a select query but how we used to select matner and erspa from mara right into table into corresponding fields of you see right like this into corresponding fields of it mara up to 10 rows so it is activated it now let's execute it as you can see my internet table it mara has 10 rows okay with having fields uh, matner and ERSTA, right? So 
so let's this is with uh, above seven point before seven point four है ना and let's try the same using the land declaration we can directly do the select query from the table without the need for declaring any type or any data declaration how can we do this like you can write something select matner Let's copy this simply okay suppose you are fetching two fields one is matner and another is drsda so first thing that you have to do if there are a number of fields then you have to put a comma over here okay if you are doing an inline declaration from mara into corresponding fields of is not required if you are fetching the data from the table okay you just simply write add the rate data over here add the rate is must okay let me change the internal table name add the rate inline add the rate mara inline okay first so that's it that's it simple you are selecting data from data mara matner and ersda they are followed by a comma operator okay into table it mara inline and for that you have to declare at the rate data earlier we you are, we were using only data now you have to use at the rate data when you are fetching the data from the database table okay let's activate it see what happens see it fetches the data 10 rows it fetches it has also 10 rows it has also 10 rows okay so it is very much beneficial since you don't have to declare it the internal table anywhere in the program you are using it the moment when you require it this is what an inline declaration is okay and uh, the major benefit over here as you can notice that at runtime the fields are getting decided here we are using into corresponding fields of table like you have in the same sequence you have to declare like matner ERS, GIE, SNM, whatever um, MAKTX, whatever fields it is there in the same sequence you have to declare over here okay like select matner ERS, TA followed by the corresponding fields as in the same way that you are defining in the structure and then you have to specify corresponding fields of table but in case of inline declaration you can define the fields in any way you want it would fetches the data from your database table okay just one thing to note that the field name matna rrsdh the column name that you are passing it from here it should be the same okay so that the uh, it would able to identify thank you everyone